Let's start with just an overall comment. Uh. Man, I uh, been waiting a long time for this one. Um, can't say enough about the fight that Stevens Point gave us. Uh, they were relentless. They kept coming, um, and I am just so proud of our effort and res resiliency. Um, and just just really really happy right now. So yeah. still sinking in. But any of the players, do you feel like? Uh, it's even more sweet when you play and have to go to five and really have to scratch and claw and dig as deep as you guys had to. I mean, obviously it would have been more relaxing to win three all, but <laughs> is it any more satisfying that, that you, you really were pressed? Yeah, I mean, it was a battle. It was fun playing. Like, it, you never knew what was gonna happen, so you just had to work that much harder and play with your team. So, yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Makes it more exciting when something good happens, then you get really fired up and like, um, like said, a battle and good competition, it, it makes it sweeter. And then, um, it also makes you feel like you earned it, because you, like, you had to work really hard to, for each point. Which is Absolutely. Nice. And I'm sure you, that's something I'll carry into next week where you know, competition is going to continue to, to be outstanding again. Coach, can you talk about what last year meant? You know, like maybe last year's regional and, and you know, how so often it seems like in most sports, volleyball especially, there's sort of a process you know, you don't just go from one point to a championship. Right. Yeah, um, I think any time you can get experience is a good thing. And these three have made three straight NCAA appearances. And every year we were just getting a little bit farther. And so um, just the using what they know, um, they stayed calm, cool, collected. Uh, they were relaxed. And I think that really shows um, just the experiences that, that they've had. Um, from their first years when we were playing for a conference title um, to today when we're we're trying to get to an Elite Eight. So. And of course this is always a competitive conference and a competitive region, so I know again it's still sinking in for you guys, but you know, the probably things pop into your head of the bus ride home or tomorrow feeling like, you know, how the season has went. You know, yeah. Players talk a little bit about just, you know, the goals you'd set and how it's starting to feel as it's sinking in. Yeah. Um, I guess like Nicole was saying, um, each year just getting better and better. And like last year we made it to Sweet 16, and this year let's make it to the Elite Eight. Um, we want to see what that's like, and um, just building on the big wins from the season and keeping it going. And I think it helped like with our conference being so good because we we had tough competition all year, so we were kind of like built and ready to like we knew how to fight and stuff because we've been doing that all throughout our conference. Yeah, just going off that. Um, playing these like tough five set matches, it's just like 25 points and then on the next game, so you have to have a clean slate. So we've practiced a lot for that staying cool, calm, and collective. Yeah. Nicole, would you say that one of the challenges of coaching, especially volleyball, is just sort of <laughs> finding a peak, you know, it's a long season. <laughs> you, you, you go through stretches where you're playing great earlier and then maybe you go through a, a little bit of a slump or whatever. But yeah. Is that, it, trying to build to, to this weekend, it seems like it worked for you. Yeah, I mean, I think that's always the goal is that you're playing your best volleyball at, at the right time. Um, and we actually started, we played really well opening weekend. We had some big matches right away and um, every conference team wants to beat us. So we got everyone's best and they would agree. We got everyone's best all year long. And um, I think that helps in these moments when we've played five, we've been down, um, you know, down two sets. We've had to come back and you just learn how to work through that. And volleyball is absolutely a game of momentum, and volleyball is absolutely um, a game of mistakes, and it's how you respond to those um, to those moments. And because of the experiences that we've had throughout the regular season, um, and even the conference tournament, it really prepared us to be able to handle situations that happen tonight. Maybe the last thing any of you guys could address is, is every team sort of seems like it has its own personality, or maybe it's its own sort of a particular trait that you tap into, but does this team have something, again, you, you've had a lot of outstanding athletes that have played for you there, great teams. What is there something about this team that maybe, I, from the outside, looks like the calmness, the, but do you guys see anything that about this team that you feel like, hey, we're really excited because we do this thing? Yeah, I mean, I'll just start and just say they're, they aren't a super emotional team, and I don't mean that in a negative way. They play at a really high level, um, and they don't tend to get really, really high when we're doing well and sink really, really low when things aren't going our way. They just stay at a, at a high level um, 
And so we don't have those emotional roller coasters, uh, which is great for me because I can just do my job. Um, but we talk about that a lot, like leave room for us to coach you and to help you and to play at a high level. And um, that definitely plays into moments like that for sure. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, so <clears throat> sorry. on the team, we have a saying, the team before yourself. So it's comforting on the court to know that all of your teammates are playing for you and that makes you want to play for them so much harder. So it's really, it's the team before ourselves. And we want everyone to succeed. Okay. And I think what helps too is um, our team is really close so that we always know like we have each other's backs and we can always count on that. And just bouncing off that, like everyone just genuinely gets excited for each other when something good happens. Like it's not people cheering for themselves, like everybody gets more excited for everybody else. So that's really cool. Okay, I lied. I'm going to have one last question. So, <laughs> the players, quick, just talk about your coach, and she's got such an outstanding resume as a player and an assistant coach. She's been a terrific head coach in this league, and now she's going to go to the national tournament with you guys. So, talk about what, what she's meant and how she's built this program that you guys have kind of taken on the legacy. Um, I think she's kind of replicated us in like the calm, collected way. Like she doesn't yell at us. <laughs> like keeps us like keeps the same energy as us. But like is there when we need to be like, hey, let's go. Like this is not okay. We need to do this. Like kind of on her case. So that's good. Yeah, and I think it helps too. Is she's very competitive, <laughs> which is you always like to see in a coach. Like you know, she wants to win. You're like, okay, she wants to win. Oh, I want to win too. So yeah, I'll just add a little thing too. Um, and it helps too. She's a friend when you need a friend. She's a coach when you need a coach. Um, it's not always about the outcome. She wants us to genuinely grow as people too, which helps a lot. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, three terrific matches and uh, representing your university, your, your college, I should say, and then the, in our conference and the region. And now, good luck in Cedar Rapids, and hopefully, you guys can just continue to do what you're doing. And, and uh, maybe there's another trophy uh, or two <laughs> in, in the, in the midst for you guys next week. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yes.